Till now, you must have seen CNG, compressed natural gas, only at the gas station. But have you heard of bio CNG? Hello everyone, this is Yash Saxena and you are watching Enter Climate. In this video, we are going to talk about how to make bio CNG from agricultural waste. Most of you must be thinking, what's the difference between the CNG and bio CNG? CNG is compressed natural gas and bio CNG is a renewable fuel obtained by purifying biogas in contrast to CNG, a non-renewable source of energy. Biogas is produced when microbes break down organic matter like food, crop, residue, wastewater, etc. Now let's start with the business procedure that how will you set up your bio CNG plant. Let's start with the land required to build a CBG plant. You can also make bio CNG or CBG in your home or farm barn. For this, you should have two or three acres of land where you can process up to 100 tons of agricultural waste every day. With this, you will not only make CBG, but compost biofertilizer will also be made there and slurry will be produced in huge quantities. All these byproducts are also sold very quickly. That's the plus point for you. Now you must be thinking how much investment will be required to set up the plant. Expert from the industry says that the plant to process 100 tons of agricultural waste every day will have an investment of about rupees 10 crore. Despite the investment of this amount, this plant will generate so much income for you that in three years, the cost of your factory will be covered up. Next is the process. The process is called biomethanation. The organic waste has to undergo a decomposition process of about 25 days. In the absence of oxygen, this process is called biomethanation process in which the microorganisms contribute a lot and these microorganisms complete the biological decomposition process at a controlled temperature. Biogas is produced in the form of energy in this process which is collected in the upper parts of the digester tanks from where it is stored by the gas pipeline in very large storage balloons. Gas purification and upgrade process, let's talk about that too. The gas stored in the biogas balloon is sent to a purification and upgrade plant where it is purified and upgraded using VPSA technology. This gas after the purification process is called bio CNG in which methane gas becomes 90 to 96 percent. About 17,500 kg of bio CNG can be produced daily from the plant which can be used as a fuel in city buses etc. Biofuel can be supplied to about 400 city buses and 1500 small vehicles from this plant. Due to this, the environmental standards will be upgraded. Now if you want to start this business, then will the subsidy will also be available for you. There is also a subsidy from the government to build a CBG plant on this. Subsidy is given by the central government based on the production capacity of CBG. At present, the central government gives subsidy of about Rs 4,200 per cubic meter of gas. Apart from this, the state government also gives subsidy. If the subsidy from the central government and state government is combined, it works out to 40% of the total project amount. Next question that must be coming in your mind is, will there be any exemption in income tax? Yes, there is a provision of a special exemption in the Income Tax Act on the income of the production unit of compressed biogas CBG. Section 80JJ of the Income Tax Act provides for this. Under this law, income from CBG production plant will be exempted from the income tax for five consecutive years. When we are starting a business, all of us are always thinking about how much we will be earning every month from this plant. Suppose you have set up a plant to process 100 tons of agricultural waste every day. This plant will produce 90,000 kg of CBG, 6 lakh kg of biofertilizer and 15 lakh liters of liquid slurry every month. The total income from selling these three would be around 51 lakhs per month. 25.41 lakhs will be spent every month on the salary paid to the employees, electricity bill, maintenance bills and for this production which means that the planter will get return of more than 25 lakhs every month. Now who will be the buyers for these byproducts? The buyer of CBG would be those who operate motor vehicles or other equipments using CNG. There is a huge demand of this gas as CBG is considered to be better gas than CNG. In fact CBG made from waste is even better than CNG and available at many gas stations. 
This is because CBG contains 95% of methane, whereas CNG contains only 90%. Therefore, the mileage of vehicle running on CBG increases by 5 to 10%. What if your products are not sold? Some companies not only help entrepreneurs to set up CBG plant, but also buy back their products. For example, Next Gen Energy Limited buys CBG from its partner at Rs. 37 per kg. The buyback rate of biofertilizer is Rs. 2.5 per kg, while for the slurry is 20 paisa per liter. The earning and profits we have mentioned above are calculated at the buyback rate. If you yourself sell biofertilizer to the farmer, then its price will be much higher. To start any business in India, you need to have some mandatory licenses and registrations. Let's have a look at them too. To start this business, you would be needing GST registration, Udyam registration, factory license, NOC from the Fire and Pollution Control Board, NOC from PESO, Petroleum and Explosive Safety Organization are some of it. This is where Interclimate rolls in. We are the leading environmental consultancy company renowned for its technology driven solution for a wide range of environmental licensing and compliance solutions. Our team of more than 100 environmental solution experts has been assisting businesses across India in setting up and registering their companies in compliance with the Indian environmental laws. So, this was all about the topic. For more such content, keep watching Interclimate. This is Yash Saxena, signing off.